Coming out fired up, Joe Lewis, 32 years old, 5'8", 155 pounds. 4-2, and two, coming off a two-year layoff. Guy is solid in every area of the fight, but loves to stand up and bang. Very well-rounded fighter. Yeah, he said he would come back when he was hungry. And he said now he's hungry and ready. And he had a real strong intensity to him yesterday at the WAM. And he's carrying that intensity with him to the ring right now. A two-year layoff is quite a long while. I'm sure he's trained and well-prepared, though, and you add that hunger. I'm sure Absolutely. he's ready to get back in here and headline Samurai. That hunger is the most important thing for an athlete. If you don't have that fire under your butt to go train and put out a good amount of effort in the gym every day, then you shouldn't be in here. So it's good that he has that hunger back, and we can expect him to really bring it when he gets in the cage tonight for the main event of Samurai MMA Pro number four. Christos Chiagos, 22 years old, 5'10", 155 pounds, proud Greek American, and boy does the crowd love this guy. He likes to feel people outstanding and then take it to the ground, get top control, and utilize his devastating ground and pound to tremendous effect. I will say this, he claims he is a wrestler, but he does have an extremely effective overhand right and left hook, and he's used that to knock people out viciously in the past. As vicious as he is, he also has a soft side, though. Little known facts, he said he likes the chick flicks and shows. Movies like The Notebook and The Vampire Diaries. So an interesting juxtaposition within Christos here. You know a lot of fighters are sensitive people at heart. This guy's no different. Most people won't own up to that, but he's very confident in himself and feels like he can, you know, go in there and do what he needs to do and still go home and watch chick flicks. Now, now something unique, a lot of fighters will say, oh, I want the KO, I want this. He was very specific. He said he's going to feel him out and then take it to the ground. And that's what he wants to do. We'll see if he can impose it. This is going to be an extremely entertaining fight. Both of these guys want it bad. You can see it. Yikes. Christos Jagos definitely definitely the crowd favorite here, Christos Jagos. Here we go. Larry Landless getting us ready for the main event. 155 pounds. The fight has just begun and the crowd is already chanting Jagos' name. Oh, and he just there he, it is. he fell down and woke up. He literally had him stiff, and the impact of the ground woke up Joe. That overhand right. Talked about it leading up to the fight, and you can see how effective it is. And he wants to keep it on the ground. I'm really impressed Joe Lewis was able to get up from that position after one being knocked loopy and two just being in a bad spot. You can see that hunger is fueling it. And Christos is right on top of him again. Wow. Like we said, stifling top control, vicious ground and pound, and a mean overhand right so far, as promised. See if Joe Lewis can make the best out of a bad position and sneak out here. Well, he's, gonna, he's got one hook in, and that's the rear naked. He's in deep. His fight might be over soon. He's going to switch to Gable Grip. Oh, oh look at Joe coming Lewis out. Lewis is squirming the out. Hunger. You see an armbar attempt that's going to come right now, right now, from... Uh, Christos. It's going to be a little bit difficult pressed up against a fence like that. If he gets that right leg out, it's there. Okay, Joe gets up and now he's on top. Joe's corner screaming for him to relax. 
Nice elbow from the top of Joe Lewis. Wow. Joe Lewis not only survives the dangerous onslaught, finds himself on top in a dominant position. Thiago's pretty big for 155, but Lewis very strong. Nice wall throw. Woo! Overhand Joe, right. Joe, Lewis lands a good left body kick. Jagos looks to be a little bit rocked on his feet, but manages to clinch up, deliver some good dirty boxing and knees of his own. Lewis really using his imposing strength to his advantage here. Wow, what an exciting first two minutes we just had here. Nice takedown defense from Lewis. Jagos went for that trip, and Lewis said, no, thank you. Strong pressure by Christos against the cage. You can tell he definitely wants to take it down to the ground, as he said. Relax! Relax! Go, relax! A little bit of dirty box. I wouldn't be surprised to see a level change here from Christos if he can hit him with a shot or two. But instead we see some mean strikes. Wow! He went for a head and arm, and Joe slipped right out to the side. Joe must have a nice wrestling background or something. We're seeing a lot of work here. Tremendous hips from both of these guys. Right. He slipped right out of that head and arm like two cats, and he landed on the ground in a perfect position. Great side control. That underhook again, if everybody's watching, the fighters never to get that underhook. They're able to get to their side, either grab a single or start getting back to their feet. Oh, hey. Wow, heavy, Big heavy shots. Big shots from Joe Lewis. Nice high kick attempt from Giagos. Just missed. You know, with every second of this fight that ticks by, Joe Lewis grows stronger. He's coming off a two-year layoff. He's probably shaking off some of that rust. I think that overhand right that hit him was just a product of that. But he's awake and alive now. Another couple of punches land from Giagos. Go! Oh! have Lewis on rubbery legs. When they start getting into those firefights, you know someone catches a hot one. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. So much power displayed from both of these guys. You know, both with wrestling backgrounds, both very strong hips. As we all know, all the power comes from your hips, whether you're striking or grappling. Good series of right hands from Giagos over the top and underneath. Joe, maybe getting a little tired. Nice body shot. That Great body shot. It hurt him, and he goes right down under the hips for a takedown. And I think Joe's getting a little tired. The body shot definitely hurt him. Yep. Nice Good. knee right to the bread basket. Joe is hurt here. Thiago's pouring it on. Yeah, we're gonna He's covering up. He's hurt. Joe's got the heart of a warrior, though. He's still trying to fight out of these bad positions. You gotta be, this is a five-minute round fight. That's yes. right. Another body shot. Yeah. He knows exactly where to attack when he sees the opening. This is nice work by Christos. Great fight IQ from this guy. Mixing up levels. Oh, really devastating knee to the body. Yeah, that body's taking a beating right now, and Christos is continuing to work it. 20 seconds left. Joe needs to get out of this precarious position. Two more body shots, and then a couple high. Oh, good knee from Christos. He slips to the ground. Hits a nice double. <laughs> what a dog fight. Oh, that wow. was just the first round. Oh, my dear holy jeez. Wow. I'm speechless. That was an extremely exciting round. And the DJ's playing the right song right now. They're playing Eye of the Tiger because this is like a Rocky movie right now. Oh, man. I can't believe the amount of punishment that both these guys took in the first round. I mean, you got to give that round to Giagos. It's based on his aggression, the knockdown, the constant fighting for the takedowns. But Lewis... He held his own in that round. I mean, that's a, that's a close 10-9. And that's saying a lot, seeing as how he, he was almost put to sleep in the opening seconds with that overhand. Yeah, I, I don't wow. have it as close of a 10-9. But uh, I do agree with the 10-9, and I agree that Joe came back. From, I thought he was literally knocked out. Yeah. And he came back, fought through it, got a lot of dominant positions of his own. He definitely felt stiff as a board, and when he hit the mat, it kind of woke him up a little bit. He was right back in the game. Wow. saw that happen in Jake Shields versus Dan Henderson. Henderson clipped him, Jake's head hit the ground and woke him right up. Right. He fell stiff as a board. And Jake went on to win that fight. So we'll see if Joe Lewis can uh, try and do the same. Round number two, Chiagos looking to give his opponent a little love after that crazy first round. Fighters touch gloves and resume the scrap here in our main event at Samurai MMA Pro number four. Joe, keep him under him. 
looks like uh, Christos is looking to put that right hand on the pipe again. You see, he's almost loading it. Lewis assuming a southpaw stance. Boy, good right body kick from Giagos. Immediately to a double. Trying to pass guard and stuff that left leg. Now we're in the half control, open half. Oh, open half guard. Good posture and strong body punches. From Christos, he's really pouring it on. He said expected to go to the ground and get top control, and he's done that a number of times. This is exactly where he wants to fight. Christos is going to attack Kimura here, it looks like. Nope. Past a mount. Takes it, past a full. There's an arm bar that's hanging out there, but if I'm uh, Christos, I don't stop pounding. Landless taking a really close look here. Looks like he's getting ready, stopping it. Oh, wow. That stopped the fight. Joe is very upset by the stop. You can't necessarily blame Larry. Christos stayed really, really busy. Right now, Joe is living. Oh man, disappointing loss for Joe Lewis. He's contesting the stoppage, saying he was there in the fight the whole time. It may have been a little bit early, but once again, the referee's here to protect the fighters. Wow, what a fight. That first round was intense. Well, ladies and germs, that brings us to the end of our show. What an excellent night of mixed martial arts action here in Culver City. Samurai MMA Pro 4, what a success. Devastating knockouts, some barn burners, great fights. Altogether, a very successful fourth event for Samurai. Their shows just keep getting better and better, and I can't wait to see what they have in store for us next time. Make sure to check us out online on Facebook at facebook.com slash Samurai Pro Sports, and like us for a chance to win tickets to the next Samurai MMA Pro event. Thanks again to all of our sponsors, Bud Light, MMA Elite, South Bay BMW, and all the people out there watching that have made this possible. We're your hosts, Andrew Hagar and Akosa Akbom, signing off. Good night and good fight.